Yo, I received a comment the other day telling me that if Anthony Joshua was an American fighter, that Wreck would be criticizing him. Because I had made a video uh, maybe a week ago saying that, you know, if Anthony Joshua was American, that guys like in the LDBC would be chastising him. I know would be praising him and treating him a whole different way than they currently are right now because of the fact that he wasn't British, he was from the UK. So this guy said, well, we could do this, we could say the same thing about you basically, Wreck. If Anthony Joshua was American, you would be trashing him. Basically saying or trying to say that I have, uh, I'm, I'm basically anti-American fighters or boxers, I guess. So I wanted to uh, address this. First of all, this lets me know that this because this is not the first time I've received a comment like this. I've received comments like this before in the past where people have said, oh, you just don't like American boxers wrecked. Uh, you're anti-American this. You're anti-American that. That's your problem. You're biased boxing channel. But the thing is, like, this lets me know that these guys who say this about my, who leave these comments on my on my channel have not actually taken the time to go and look at my channel and look at the past of my channel's uh, of my of my videos if you actually take a look at my videos my past videos you will see that i have praised many american boxers you will see that i praised tice um, excuse me uh terence crawford i said he's my favorite american boxer him and errol spence jr are actually my two of my favorite american fighters if you actually see my history with the heavyweights you're gonna see that i've said that my favorite heavyweights are all American. Guys like Larry Holmes, guys like Evander Holyfield, guys like Mike Tyson, guys like Muhammad Ali. These guys were all American, and these guys are my favorite American heavyweights. And that's why I would always critique and criticize Deontay Wilder because he couldn't walk on these in uh, on these guys' shoes, in my opinion. So this whole idea that I'm anti-American uh, boxing, boxers, is the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, and I think what these guys think is because they see me making a lot of videos about Deontay Wilder, they immediately assume that I don't like American boxers. When I criticize a fighter, it has nothing to do with the fact that they're American. It has to do with their resumes. That's what it has to do with. So when you see me making a video critiquing Deontay Wilder and making fun of Deontay Wilder, it's because I don't really respect Deontay Wilder as a fighter. And I was criticizing him in many of my videos. All right. Um, so and I guess they assume that I'm like a UK uh, ass kisser. But, you know, if you look at my past videos, I've critiqued and criticized Dillian White many times. Any of my OG subscribers will know that I've criticized the crap out of Dillian White. I made videos chastising Dylan White. Dylan White is from the UK. I've made videos. I, I call Tyson Fury a beluga whale. A this out of shape. I, I said I was disgusted with Tyson Fury. I made a video a year ago when he was obese. Saying I was disgusted by him. You know, if I was really this UK ass licker that a lot of people claim I am. Why would I be criticizing guys like Billy Joe Sanders? Guys like Dylan White. Guys like... Uh, Tyson Fury. And, oh, and by the way, I also critique Anthony Joshua when he fought uh, Alexander Povekian. Did you forget that? Any of my OG subscribers would, re would remember when Alexander Povekian fought Anthony Joshua. I, I said I wasn't impressed with Anthony Joshua's performance. And I got a lot, of, a lot of hate for that, right? But the point is, I've criticized UK boxing fans. So this whole idea that I'm a UK boxing channel ass kisser is ridiculous because any of my OG subscribers would remember that and again I think what the problem with uh, these guys leaving these comments are is they only see me making videos critiquing Ante uh, Deontay Wilder and he's American so they think to themselves oh he's a he hates American boxers he's against them I'm American myself why the fuck would I hate an American boxer I told you guys my history with Deontay Wilder and why I critique him so much it's nothing to do with the fact that he's an American, dude. It has to do with the fact that he was a cherry picker and he let me down as an American boxing fan. And again, take the time to look at my past videos and see what I have to say about other American fighters. 
see what I have to say about them. And then you'll realize, you know what? Oh no, this guy isn't a biased and anti-American boxing channel because he's actually give credit to other American bo- uh, boxers. You know what a guy who is anti-American boxers or anti-America in period, he would not be giving a guy Americans any credit. And if you look at my past videos, I've always given, I gave Terrence Crawford credit. My favorite fighters is Terrence Crawford, who's American, Errol Spence Jr. I don't talk about these guys because I don't uh, talk about uh, other weight divisions much. This channel is part them is basically a heavyweight boxing channel. I talk about a lot about the heavyweight division mostly. I don't really talk about the other divisions, but when I do occasionally talk about the other divisions, you see me praising guys. I've praised guys like Andre Ward in the past. I've praised Terrence Crawford. I've praised the great American heavyweights like Ali, Joe Lewis, uh, Mike Tyson, Evan the Holyfield. I truly believe Evan the Holyfield was the last great American heavyweight. So don't just come at me and see me criticizing. Uh, Deontay Wilder and assume um, just assume that I'm anti-American boxers actually look back in my past videos and you're going to quickly realize oh wait he's actually defended many American boxer, boxers again when I criticize a fighter it has nothing to do with the fact that he's British or he's American it's just I'm not impressed with the resume alright I'm not impressed with the resume and that's all I have to say guys thanks for watching